Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be discussing the hoax of Diedrich Knickerbocker. Now to talk about Diedrich Knickerbocker, we need to talk about Washington Irving, which is a name you might recognize. Now Washington Irving, who was born just as the revolution was being completed, which seems to be why his parents named him Washington, after George Washington, he grew up in New York City and loved the city, though as a sickly child he went upstate frequently to get some air, and he would go as, an, as a young man to Europe and travel around and get his education. He came back at 26 years old, uh, right as James Madison was becoming president. And uh, Washington Irving decided that he wanted to be an, uh, an author, a writer. So he started a paper, which I believe is pronounced Salmagundi. It's a very strange name, but what's interesting is in one of the stories he published, he called New York City Gotham, which makes him the first person to do so. I know we think about, uh, what is it, DC comic books and Batman and Superman, they... No, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne was in Gotham. I'm not a comic book guy. I'm an American Revolution guy. Forgive me if I got that wrong. But we think about the comic books as calling New York City Gotham. But this actually comes from Washington Irving. Now, Irving gave us a lot more than that. And especially New York City. He gave New York City a lot of the character it currently has. So, Irving wrote a book. And he wanted it to sell well. But he was still fairly unknown. So, he published... He had a hoax. He published in the newspaper uh, that he was there was a missing person named Diedrich Knickerbocker. And the last time Mr. Knickerbocker was seen was at his hotel room. And then a few days go by and, and people talk about it a little bit, but then there's a another art, art, uh, advertisement published in a newspaper. And it says it comes from the hotel owner. And he says, Diedrich Knickerbocker left my hotel and has not paid for it, but he did leave a manuscript of a book here. So, if he does not come pay for his hotel, I am going to publish his book to make back my money. Three or four days later, what do you know? A book was published called A History of New York from the Beginning of the World Till the End of the Dutch Dynasty by Diedrich Knickerbocker. But guess what? It wasn't Diedrich Knickerbocker. That was a fake person. The whole thing was a ruse by Washington Irving to sell his book. And sell, it did. And it became wildly popular. And it was not long before people realized there was no Diedrich Knickerbocker. It was a hoax. It was Washington Irving. So, Irving would go on to write several significant contributions to the American history, uh, American literary history. Um, he would also serve for a time as a, as a minister in Europe, I believe to Spain for most of it, um, uh, and the United Kingdom. That's right. He traveled around a little bit and served his country uh, just after the end of the War of 1812. But most notably is several stories you've heard, but you might have forgotten some of the premise of, which are Rip Van Winkle and the uh, Headless Horseman. Now, Rip Van Winkle, you may not recall, He, you will remember that he goes up on a hill and he falls asleep and he wakes back up and things are different. But what's often overlooked is he falls asleep before the American Revolution and wakes up after the American Revolution. And it's, yeah, a fish out of water story of a guy who thinks he's still in the king's colony when he is in an independent United States and the misadventures he goes through there. And then furthermore, the Headless Horseman was... Uh, apparently, allegedly, a German Hessian soldier who had his head chopped off by a cannonball or... This d details escape me, forgive me. Again, history, not literary. literary. <laughs> um, but it was a Hessian who lost his life during the Revolutionary War. And these are legends that add on to the great hoax of Diedrich Knickerbocker. Because I will remind... Uh, and I bring this up because of all Washington Irving, Irving contributed to American, not only history, but folklore. And I do want to end on this. You might recognize the word Knickerbocker, and that's because there's a sports team called the New York Knickerbockers, which we usually call the New York Knicks. And they get their name from a hoax that Washington Irving portrayed in the early 19th century. 
So that's the hoax of Diedrich Knickerbocker. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit like. If you're new here, hit subscribe. If you have been following me and you noticed I did not do the live stream this weekend that I promised, well, I apologize. I spent about seven or eight hours trying to make that work, but apparently there are several complications. The main problem is I shoot these on my phone and you cannot plausibly hook up your phone without a great deal of trouble. Uh, I hope to get, I hope to remedy that over the course of this week. Unfortunately, I do have to leave town for a few days. I will still shoot these videos, but I don't, I won't be able to go live till the following week, at which point, hopefully everything's set up. But thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer. I love talking about the American Revolution. I will come back to you with another video tomorrow, and you have a great, great afternoon.